Welcome to Devoy Intentions. My name is Jason. Today on the podcast, we are playing The Lord of the Rings, the card game by Fantasy Flight Games. Okay. So, this is a progression series. We finished uh, Shadow, uh, sorry, the uh, Shadows of Mirkwood cycle, and now we're off to the Casa Doom cycle. Now, I never played Casa Doom cycle or anything with it yet. Uh, I just got the box um, today uh, from Meeple Mart. Um, so, thanks, Meeple Mart. So, I've never actually played any of the quests yet. Now, I have the quests, uh, all of them, and I've had all of them for quite some time because they're easy to find. In fact, I. I found the the entire <laughs> the entire cycle uh, at my local uh, store, who no longer sells Lord of the Rings stuff anymore, um, and uh, <laughs> and uh, but they never had Casa Doom, so I, I never got to play it. I got to play with the cards, but never got to play with the quests. So this is going to be new for me. So before I start and resume the the, the progression series, I guess uh, we I got a, a contest. So. Uh, so make it make it two part make make it easy. Uh, I'm, I got two things to give away. I got one. I got another another nightmare pack, and I know I'm, I'm cheap, but I got another nightmare pack of the Shadow and Flame, which I think is in the cycle. Yeah. And I have a print of art. So I went to a con, uh, our sci-fi con, which is in Newfoundland, uh, St. John's. It's kind of small, you know, but four or five thousand people or whatnot. I, I guess. Uh, in around about two days, uh, and um, yeah, so there's an artist, uh, Kevin Kendall, uh, which I'll see if I can put the information below, who did a piece, uh, who does, I guess, some black and white sketch art uh, of Gandalf. So I thought, hey, this would be cool and be an interesting thing. So I bought one for myself, I bought one uh, for one of you people, um, and uh, yeah, so we're gonna, I'm gonna do a giveaway for it, but I'm gonna get you to do a little something for me. So. Uh, all I want you to do is go to the Facebook page at uh, www.rollingintentions slash, sorry, www.facebook uh, slash rollingintentions. Now, you can go to there, and uh, uh, I'll, I'll basically post a link for the giveaway, a picture of the, of the, of, of the not really of the prizes, I'll, I'll show you a picture of the art, um, and it's a, uh, it's just a print. I wanted the actual sketch, the original sketch, but I couldn't get it. Um... Plus, it would have been probably been really expensive. Either way, um, uh, this is it. This is all I got. So uh, you go ahead. I'm going to put it. Put the actual uh, art up, uh, and then underneath that, um, I just need you to put down the following. So I want you to give name to me the top five. Okay, I want you to give me the following. If I was a new person, if I was starting the, uh, the game for the first time, I want you to give me uh, either um, a, a, a deluxe expansion and a couple of adventure packs to make a deck with. So I want you to suggest, I guess, I want you to suggest a uh, maximum of five uh, items uh, that somebody can purchase to get their, to get their ball rolling for their decks. So you don't really have to write out the actual decks, but I want you to give at least an idea of why you chose those. So essentially, if you choose, uh, you know, Cause of Doom, and you chose uh, Overhill and Underhill, uh, and then two and then three other APs, I want you to tell me what is the main purpose of buying those five items, and uh, how much do you think it would cost you? Uh, now you can make it Canadian dollars if you're nice, uh, but if you can't, just put it in American. But just make sure you put the currency in there so people can at least convert it. Uh, and you know, uh, the idea to me is I want I want cost effective, so I want you to be able to buy. Now you're not buying singles. You're not going to like Team Covenant buy singles. We're only buying packs here because we want the quest as well. But you don't have to line it up so that your quests always work. Okay, but but it would be good if you did. Bonus points if you did. Um, but I want you to be able to give me five things you're going to purchase with Lord of the Rings, uh, the card game, that is going to give you a decent deck that you can feel comfortable uh, playing with others. And if you can make it unique where you're not using cards that other people most likely will, who are going to be you're going to be playing with, uh, that will be also more bonus points. So we want a creative uh, theme uh, with five packs 
uh, and you're also including the well five packs and and plus the core. So you get the core for free. And uh, if you want to put more cores in there, go ahead, because uh, that's always an option. But um, with one core, five other things, which could also include more cores. I want you to give me a. I want you to give me that. I want to give me the the idea of the price and the concept of it. So it's going to be a bit of work. Maybe you guys are going to think, screw that, it's not worth it. But I'm going to give away two items, uh, so the more people who participate, the better. And you can participate as many times as you want. Um, in fact, if you can give me one post and a bunch of different uh, deck ideas, uh, that would be great. But once again, we're looking for budget decks. So the cheaper you can get it, the better. Uh, really what you should be shooting for is around $100 to $150. For the new player who just got the core set, who's dying to play this game, uh, as as hardcore as he can, uh, or he or she, uh, but you know, don't have the unlimited funds as some people do. Okay, so that's it. That's that's what I'm going to do on the giveaway. So we'll post that on the Facebook page. If you do not have Facebook or do not wish to post on the Facebook page, uh, not a problem. Uh, you can also go to Rolling Intentions under this under this. Um, rolling Intentions, I guess not dot com, but our Rolling Intentions blog, which is RPGBG blogspot.com it'll be in the comments and just make a comment underneath this video uh you can probably even do it on youtube but i don't know how i'm going to contact you on youtube is the only problem <laughs> i guess i can send you a message through youtube but generally the people don't check those messages so i would prefer facebook because it's easy to contact people uh but secondarily i will ch choose the other ones or you can always email it uh which is good because i can contact you pretty easily uh, at w uh, sorry at uh, rolling intentions at gmail.com all right that's done and over with let's continue on here so I have a new a new deck not really new but it is um, yeah it is a variation of the deck you've come to love or at least I come to love uh, so we played the uh, you know the Sylvan deck uh, I don't even know what it was called originally because I Looks like a change name of it altogether. But I called it the Sylvan Experience. That's the new the new term for it. And I've got some new heroes. Ooh, and I got some new like little thingy to bobs. So hopefully this loads up. Okay. So there's changes made to this deck. Hardcore changes actually. Uh, we're gonna see whether or not this deck actually runs better or worse than its original form. Okay. So once again, yes, you can see Aelmer's gone. All right. So uh, what we got here? Well, first of all, uh, we've got uh, Celebor, which is 11 threat, 3 willpower, 2 attack, 2 defense, 4 hit points. Is a Silva Noble uh, response. After a Silva Injured play, you get plus 1 willpower, plus 1 attack, plus 1 defense till the end of the round. Then we have... Uh, I cannot say that. Uh, I'd... Idain, I guess... Darin... 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 Iderin, 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 anyways, Iderin, uh, it is 11 threat, 2 willpower, 3 attack, 2 defense, 4 hit points, it's a Duodane Ranger Scout, uh, response, after a location is explored, you ready her, pretty cool, I, I really like that card, uh, but anyways, it's the new card, it is a spirit hero, so uh, as you can see, lots of spirit resources now, and we have Gladriel, uh, of course, with 9 threat, 4 Four willpower, zero zero attack and defense. Four hit points is a noble noble, and she does not attack, defend, or quest. But allies I control do not exhaust to commit to the quest the moment they enter play, and I get exhaust her for a card and lower my threat by one. Okay, so we got some different uh, different cards in here too, but you know what? We're not going to get into that yet because I may not keep this hand. I might actually. That's a that's a mighty interesting start, but I still might not do it. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and load up the deck so the progression series continues, and we're going to get to this. And I have to read this carefully because I've not played this before. So bear with me. So what did we do here? Uh, we went through here, went through here, went through here. Now we're into the pit. Okay. Entering the mines into the pits. You have been sent by the White Council to Moria to dis to deliver a message to Balin in his dwarves dwarven colony. No one has heard from him uh, in a while. Okay. 
Search the encounter deck for the East Gate and Cave Torch. Put East Gate into play as the active location. And the first player attach Cave Torch to a hero of his choice. Set the set first hall and bridge of Kazuduma side of play. Shuffle the encounter deck. Okay. Let's see if we got some stuff. We got a cave torch, so we're gonna attach it to somebody. What does it do? It is restricted. Mm, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, attached to a hero. Action. Exhaust cave torch to place up to three progress tokens on a dark location. Sounds pretty good. Forced. After cave torch exhaust, discard the top card of the encounter deck. If that card is an enemy, add it to the stage area. Oh, that's uh. Scary. Uh, we, well, it's only exhausted this. So you know what? We're going to put it on... Uh, hmm. Silverborn. I think we're going to put it on Silverborn. Okay. And these cards, I don't have to worry about right now. But they look kind of crappy. So we'll put them aside. And the current card is East Gate. It is a uh, location... It is seven threat. Oh, I don't have to worry about it because it's already active location. Why is it seven threat though? Because I can swap it out, I guess. Okay. Players cannot optionally engage enemies, and no engagement check checks are made. So I mean, it just okay. So I'm not here yet. I'm not in the mine yet. I'm still outside. Forced after uh, after Eastgate leaves play as an explored location, add first hall to the stage area. Well, I better find out what first hall does. So I'm actually exploring a mine. That's kind of cool. First hall says each player must raise his threat by three to travel here. After first hall leaves play as an explored location, add bridge of cause of doom to the stage area. Okay. Oh my god, this is kind of ridiculous. Okay, and what's this do? When it's active location, players cannot play cards. Wow. All right. So let's find out what the next card is. Okay. Entering the mines into the pit. The doors of the east gate hang hooked on their hinges. The darkness inside the doorway is impenetrable, shutting out the last beams of the sinking sun. When revealed, uh, reveal one encounter card per player and add it to the staging area. Players cannot advance to the next stage of the scenario unless the Bridge of Cause of Doom is in the victory display. So that means I have to get through all of this first. Okay, so I get to add one card. The Treachery. <laughs> you jerk. So it's just Doom 2 Surge. One, two, search. Yes, yeah, so that's going to go away. And what the heck is this? 20 uh, engagement, okay. It is one threat, three attack. Wow, one defense, two hit points. Pretty weak. Uh, it is a goblin swordsman, goblin orc. Goblin swordsman gets plus two if the attack is undefended. So not good to have undefended. So we haven't even started yet, and look what's going on. All right, do I want to keep this hand? This question uh, has potential and uh, a defender. That might be a good idea. Looks like looks like I'm going to have to do some of that. Okay, I'm going to keep, and let's find out what happens here. Is any of these dark? It's an underground bridge. Underground? Is that just dark only? Oh, okay. Okay, let's uh, start uh, start the game. I've got another money, and I've got some more cards that I'm not going to want to play right away. All right, so we're going to pay one off of Silvern. We're going to play Oliorn on uh, on Gladriel. Actually, we're going to use Gladriel to draw a card to lower my threat. Unexpected Courage. Ooh. That is so tempting. But at the moment, I think we might want a defender. So we're going to drop her out. 
pay one, pay one, and exhaust this to lower her by one. And that's who we got. Now she gets plus one stuff. Oh, he doesn't have a whole lot. But you know what? We're just going to... We're going to have to quest. So we're going to quest uh, with uh, Celeborn for three. And quest for one. So it's four altogether. It's kind of a weak start. Um, but I need to be able to defend and then attack. So let's find out the next card is. Another Tomb 2 and Surge. Wow, okay. Oh, Goblin Patrol. Okay. Forced. Okay, let's see what we got. 30. Wow, he's big. Um, boy. For such an early card. This is, this, this, holy crap. It's unfortunate. Okay, so... Uh, did I lower my threat earlier? Because I think I might need to. Yep. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, this is not... I don't know if this is any good here. All right. Well, let's find out. Bef okay. Uh, so we got three threat, four attack, three defense, four hit points. It's a patrol leader, uh, goblin orc. If four patrol leader is dealt damage, discard the top card in your counter deck. If the discarded card of the enemy, cancel that damage. What? That's a little insane. So we got th uh, four, uh, three and plus one. Okay, so we tied. So we didn't actually have to worry too much. Uh, but it looks... Oh, I don't have to worry about engaging, do I? Oh, I probably should have went with her then. Oh, what did I do that for? Rookie mistake. All right. Well, that's it. I forgot about the engagement and the no engagement. So I can't just engage, can't engage anything, because I'm not inside yet. So the enemies are just going to kind of swarm there. Oh, what did I do that for? I could have had two points on it. Um, all right, that's it. That's that's the end of that one. Um, that wasn't that was a bad that was bad on my part. All right. So the mutant card effects too. Mutant card effects, of course it is. All right. So um, getting getting stuff ready here. So I guess that's a good thing. But we're going to have a lot of threat by the looks of it by the time we're done. Okay, so we're going to have to... Wow, I've got a lot of spirit. Uh, you know what? It's a good idea to probably find out what the next card is and lower my threat. Ooh, that's good. Um, yeah, so let's, let's, let's do that. Uh, it's not going to be all that helpful right now, though. Boy, it's just everything bad is going on right now. Um, but let's find out. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, remove a token, remove a token, and use this. Uh, we're gonna drop down this girl here, and we're gonna save that money right there. So we're gonna quest, we're gonna quest, we're gonna quest, and we're gonna one there. So it's two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's immune to effects, so it can't do that. So let's find what the next card is. Just one, but this could be bad. While it is in the staging area, each dark location gets plus one. Oh, so it gives it to itself, so it's two, really. After your page leaves play as an explored location, look at the top three cards from the counter deck, plus one. Uh, top three cards in Canada. Players must choose one of those locations added to the stage area and moving the two cards to the bottom of the deck. Okay, what does this do? This will actually get rid of it, hey? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and use this um, before everything's tallied up and see what happens. I'm gonna get put three on that. That will get rid of that location, and I get to reveal the top card. And look at the top. Is it look at the top card? Or... Discard the top card of the encounter deck. So let's discard it. It's an enemy, so it comes in. <laughs> uh, I engage as the last player. Okay. 
<laughs> That's funny. Well, it can't engage me right now. Because it, wait, wait, I guess it can engage me, can't it? Uh, cannot optionally engage, and no engagement checks are made, but it, this says when revealed, engages the last player, so it automatically happens, so he actually does engage me. Okay. Wow, I did not expect that. Uh, but I guess it's not a big deal. Um, because I just got this to deal with now. So that's three, four, so that's two, uh, and that's two, so that's four. So I got three, so I got three on this. One, two, three. That's cool. Uh, all right, Goblin Follower. What do you, what do you got from me here? Uh, let's see. Uh, he is kind of tough. Uh, he can do some damage to him. Actually, you almost kill him. I can't do anything back. All right, let's let it happen. So we're going to go ahead and give him a shadow card. We're going to defend with the Defender of Nath. And no shadow effect. Okay, good. But he does deal three damage to uh, her, or two, which will be not damage, but one damage to her, which almost dead. Okay, uh, do I want to return or lower my threat? No, yes, no. I can wait that. All right, that's the end of that turn, because I can't do anything back even if I attack for one. He blocks it. So that's all I can do there. Next. All right, so I've got another card. Boy, I'm just getting all the bad cards. Uh, I've only got two of these, and I've got two of these. I um, was kind of hoping for some stuff in my discard pile to use, but okay. Um, okay, so I've got some more money, but I'm going to use her to draw a card, and mm, it's pretty good, actually. But i got nobody dead yet, so I guess that doesn't matter. Uh, I might have to just... Uh, just Use these guys, and uh, I can get them back later. All right. Uh, can I put up more than one people right now? I'm just making sure there's no weird stuff going on. Okay. So I'm going to put it here for one. Put it here for one. These are equesters only. So I've got nothing in my discard pile to use them with. Uh, I'm going to use this and use this. These are all like cards that are coming at the wrong time, but. That is life, you know. That is that is life. Uh, but I got a lot of cards, you know. And uh, I am kind of excited to see what happens here. These guys are going to engage me, so I better be ready for that. Uh, with that in mind, uh, we're going to quest. What are we questing for? What have we got? We got four with the renowned. So that's three, four, five. Six, seven. So it's seven questing right now. Seven. Uh, so it's four. Four, five, six, seven. So I could get three. Um, I'll quest with her. So seven, eight, nine. Let's find out what the card is. Oh, a three. But it's a dark. So I can. Oh, but it's. Yeah. Well, that's not good. Each player may choose and discard one card at random. If all players did not discard one card, follows gains surge. At random? Okay. Well, let's discard a card at random. There it goes. One of those cards. Cool. I'm not going to let it gain surge. So. All right. And this is if it exhausts. It does that. Okay. We're not going to do that. So let's count up the, the, the amount. That's three, it's six, seven. Oh, wow. So that's three, four, five, six, seven. So really, I'm going to beat it by two. <laughs> it's only about two points here. All right. Uh, we're going to have to defend and then attack back. Um... And uh, so we're going to give him a shadow card. 
how is this guy going to defend? That's the question. Who is who is going to? Well, he can't do it. He's already hurt. Uh, he'll die. Uh, well, you know what? The best thing to do is uh, return one of these little guys to my hand. Uh, and we'll say he doesn't attack. So it gets rid of that. Uh, which looks like it was something bad. <laughs> so that's probably a good thing. Uh, so he doesn't get to attack. And we get to attack him now. So let's go ahead and do so. Uh, we're going to do a two. Uh, and that will be three. So uh, that's five. I need one more attack. All right. We'll add one more attack, which will kill him. And that is the end of that, isn't it? Okay. Next round. There's the silver harp. That's kind of cool. A new card in the deck. Um, hasn't actually been working properly, so I'm going to go ahead and lower my threat by one and draw a card. Cool. That's actually kind of useful. Uh, and, you know, I will do that. I will spend the one off of him to drop that on top of her so the next turn she can do some stuff. Uh, the silver harp I may not use right now. But, uh, yeah, I can at least get back that card. So I'm going to go ahead and pay one. Get back my feigned voices, because it says here that after you can just play, shuffle the top shuffle the top card into your discard uh, into your deck. So I'm going to shuffle feigned voices back into my deck. So it means I got another chance to draw it again in the future, which is lovely. I've got one more solitary uh, resource left. But I don't think I have anything in here. I'm just going to take a look here at all my cards. It's only that. Okay. Uh, okay. So, nothing I'm going to do there. I'm going to keep that one and hope for the best. Okay. Uh, we are going to quest for three, four, five, uh, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Let's find what happens here. Treachery, when revealed, deal one damage to each exhausted character. Two, instead, if there's an active location that's a dark location. Okay, well that's not the case. So I'm 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 going to be dealing damage here. Ugh. Actually, I think that's really bad. So she dies. That, that's it though. So it's one damage to him, damage to here, damage here, damage here. Wow. Really should have played this before I, I, I played it online. But anyways, that's that's how it goes sometime. Uh so it's three, uh four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine. Because she's also questing, of course. And that's three, six, seven, eight, nine. So this will go to the victory display. Which ready's hurt. Because it's a Lord. Which means I can travel here if I want to. Uh, yes, I will travel here. No, I can't travel here. Because doesn't that automatically make these things the act locations? I think it does. Right. I'm going to go ahead and read that. Does it make it off location or does it add to siege area? Siege area. Okay. So that would be which one as its first hall, right? Sorry, guys. I know this is all going to be. You're going to have to bear with me here. First hall gets added to the stage area. Okay. So I can raise my head threat by three, make that the active location, or just go over here. And I think I'm just going to go over here. All right. Anything happened here? Anything weird? Okay. All right. So now I gotta worry about these guys since I'm inside. So they're both gonna engage me. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I got some people that are probably gonna die here. Yeah. 
get a bit of damage on her. All right. All right, we're going to do defend here. We're going to make it a defense uh, with this girl on him. And his thing says add certain to the stage area. All righty. Up he goes. This is not good. And he's going to kill him off. Her. Uh, the next one here. Um, Gonna have to defend it again, uh, and it's plus two attack, which uh, kills. Uh, that's that's three, uh, four, five. That kills her. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start over. Um, yeah, so that's definitely a, a failure because I'm gonna end up dying from this. Um, wow. Uh, hopefully the next game turns out better. Uh, that was a really poor start, uh, and I should have mulligan, I guess. But either way. Uh, I'm going to be losing if I keep continuing like this. So we're going to call that one a failure, uh, and I'll see you guys again uh, once I play it again. Once again, that's the, the first cause of doom into the pits, and it was a hard one so far. I did not expect it. Uh, well, we're going to go ahead and give it another shot. So stay tuned for the next episode of Rolling Intentions, and maybe you'll see another one very soon. Bye-bye.